Good morning. It is Saturday and it is cold. I need to go put on a sweatshirt. I should have put on some sweatpants, but I didn't think that it was this cold outside. It went from, I need to get my cuticle cut. Um, it went from being, I'm gonna hide that because I don't like the way that looks. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is cold. It went from being 80 some degrees to it is now in the low 60s. It's like actually 58 degrees. It's not even 60 degrees, 60 degrees yet. The high today is 68. I don't see that happening unless it happened way later in the day. It is about five minutes to 12 and it's cold. So my sister and I went to a yard sale at the Salvation Army. I passed by it, saw it. She called, said they had peach trees. So I met her there and we both got us a baby sweet white peach tree. So now all I need to get is lemon, lime, and orange. I want like the dwarf trees. I also have um, some jasmine, a jasmine plant that I need to do. So today's vlog what is, that? is going to be all about yard and gardening. I have to do some planting. I have to lay some um, fabric down. I gotta cut the weeds. And that have grown back I need to cut those again so it's gonna be a busy one my goal is to be done no later than four because I want to just chill the rest of the day tomorrow I have no plans on going out <clears throat> today I really didn't have plans going anywhere but here we are um, so y'all hang tight and um, I hope you stick with me throughout the entirety of this video so that you can see where we started and where we ended. And don't fast forward through, no, I'm just joking. Something to say to everybody who pay wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I've even more. Picking a plate, being a plate. She is unruly. Never seen her like this. Didn't think it existed, no, truly. Don't get in the way. She's not here to play. She'll get moved. Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no Problems disappear She could tell you the things you want to hear She could read your mind and that she could a lie Of a little lies to tell yourself a lie Never get it wrong, it's always right Waking the plate, being the plate She is on a rule, Never seen her like this Didn't think it existed, no truth She's not here to play, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no 
more change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for my sanity to choose perfect peace and now for it. As I am, I am fully equipped Even when the tide and the currents start to shift I am adaptable, I am adaptable Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go Safe for me to be grounded Balance between problem solving and the universe working itself out. All that I have. Um, I'm gonna grow my squash and zucchini up, which is why I have tomato cages, and I need to get three more for these. And I'm gonna have to put smaller ones inside of these pots because I want all of it growing up. That'll make it better, in my opinion. And I can contain it more. And I can see the fruit more. Them darn bees drive me crazy. Let me show y'all what a carpenter bee, I don't even know if you can see me. Let me show you what a carpenter bee did to one of my pieces of wood. So I don't know if y'all have carpenter bees, but see that hole? A carpenter bee did that. They drill perfectly round holes. And look, my rose bushes, it has some leaves on it. Lots of worms down here, that's good. So I got a lot of worms down here, that's a good sign. Alright, so I'm getting ready to put in this trellis over here. I don't know if y'all can see it, so let me see if I can adjust the camera. I'm ready to put that trellis in the ground. Wish me luck. I'm gonna put two more bricks up here. I'm gonna dig my holes and I'm gonna drop my bean seeds. Period. Period. Oh. I was gonna use that cage, but I'm gonna just continue with the chicken wire. And now I need to go get some. A few pole bean seeds here. I'm just gonna drop these and then go in the house and get some more. And I'm doing two per hole. 
All right, so I had a change of heart, change of mind. Since green beans or beans and cucumbers grow well together, I'm gonna do some companion planting. And I'm gonna plant cucumbers and beans on this trellis. I'm gonna put the cucumbers in the back and the beans in the front. That way they can both trellis up. And I'm planting some yellow wax. These are bush beans. No, I'm not gonna plant those. I'm gonna plant those on a pot. But these are burpees, stringless, and then I have market, um, market, marketer cucumbers. I might actually plant these in the garden box. So these are green onions that I buy at the grocery store, and I never throw them out. Once I use them, I cut them down to the to the um, bottom, to the white part, to the bulb, let them root, because I know that I'm going to plant them in the summertime or spring. So these are about to go in the pots with the squash and zucchini because they de de deter um, squash beans. It worked very well for me last year. And I'm going to put in like two to three in each pot. Alright, so it's about to rain, so I need to pack up and get everything inside. But I'm going to show you all real quick what I recently added. And this is going to be the end of this video. Until next time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending these two days in the garden with me. The wind is picking up. So if you still haven't started a garden, it's not too late. Um, there's still time. You can even start one in your kitchen, like a small one in your kitchen. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it is stressful. I will be completely honest. It is stressful sometimes because you're like, you're hoping your stuff is growing. You're not sure if it's doing well. You're not sure if you're doing it right, but it's all a lesson. All an opportunity to learn and just see what you can see grow okay everyone so this is what we have so far i am done for today i rushed and took the camera in the house because we kept draining off and on and i didn't want to mess the camera up but i dug up the eucalyptus and potted it big old hole i'm gonna fill that um what else these are all things that i need to still plant the marigolds are gonna actually end up going over here as you can see, I got the trellis there with some cucumber plants in, my peas. Oops, sorry, something's on my arm. Um, what else did we do? We planted some zinnias and some cosmos. This is the bush beans and the corn. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep those um, steaks or not. I'm just gonna sit them there for now. I'm gonna take that, the rest of the fabric and put it in the garden box. Um, anything else that's new? No, I think this is it. I did find one more small tomato cage <coughs> and put it over the um, <coughs> zucchini. My new jasmine plant, which is there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And we have a sweet white peach tree. It's called a super sweet white peach tree that's the garden box that I'm going to use I'm going to fill it with um, fabric some organic matter and soil and I'll be planting a few things in there that's going to be some dense planting in there so I'm going to draw out what I want to put in there and how I'm going to do it um, I think I showed you all these but my melon seeds are popping up that I had dropped in from when the squirrel killed the other ones um, everything in here is looking good I'm pleased with the way everything has come out. Oh, I did plant the purple basil and I planted several green onions throughout here to go along with the other onions that I planted. I moved the peppers to here. So this is bell pepper row. <laughs> I'm going to end up putting stakes in them. I'm going to get some six foot stakes and I'm going to get two for each plant so that when they start growing, I can stake them so that they will continue to grow upright and not bend because they do get heavy. Um, from the fruit. Let's see. I planted the parsley. You guys saw me plant the parsley, the Italian flat leaf and the curled. Um, I cleaned out the lettuce, the lettuce, the leaves really good. I planted the sweet basil there and I just need to water it. Um, and over here, I just cleaned all the leaves out. Um, and I transplanted some spinach. It does have shock from me transplanting it. 
over here but i just need to water it and it'll come back um it looks really sad right now but oops sorry i thought the camera was on the um spinach it looks really sad but once it gets some some um water it'll be fine it will sit it in the sun too long first of all so that's problem number one so that's what everything is looking like that's a bunch of weeds that i need to get up but i'm pleased with what we have so far um yeah and i still have to put this trailer somewhere not sure where i'm going to put it i probably i'm going to end up moving this watermelon bin out just a smidge and putting it um over it that way the vines can trellis up it so i'm thinking that that's what i'm gonna do but this is the garden tour and i still need to come out and deadhead the petunias because there are plenty up here that need to be pulled and i want you make sure you want to pull it to get the pod off so that it doesn't think that hey i need to plant there i mean you know send water i mean send power to it so that it can you know grow when it's actually dead so i'm just gonna pull some of these off um i did water it so she got good water um oh y'all i done pulled a whole one off oh i think i can put this in water and it'll grow get a root if not oh well but yeah i should probably be doing this with shears anyway let me stop before i tear my plant up anyway uh oh so that's what we have going on in the garden and i hope you have enjoyed it's been it's them darn bees yep them bees are up there drilling in the wood on the house all right so i think i'm done and i am about to bid you hold on one second i dropped my glove and the way these ants are set up them jokers will climb right in it real fast but anyway um Thank y'all for spending these two days with me and I am going to bid you adieu. And I'm going to also say, if you have not started a garden, just give it a shot. And from my heart to yours, my garden to yours, love, peace, and blessings. I am now about to go and be a couch potato after I get clean. Talk to y'all next time. Bye. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space.